Welcome to update number three, which is the finishing off of the mountain, now known as Echo Mountain. And update four, we'll see the application of the static grass. Once again, I'll fast forward it through the processes. Um, you'll notice though that the spec filler around the rocks does not take the wash at the same consistency of the plaster bandage. This is something I hadn't come across before as I usually just paint full strength over spec filler. Not that this process will matter much as when we lay the grass the mountain over you'll notice no difference at all between the joins. I then go over the rocks with another layer of darker wash as well as the cliff face going down to the track and this starts to give a bit of contrast to the colours. As I keep saying, this is my first time at uh, doing a layout and I probably should have used a lighter colour for the second wash, but it all works out in the end. I brush some green onto the mountain as this will highlight the grass when it's applied. Sort of brings to a close this part of the, the process. So I'm quite pleased with the way it's come up. And of course once we start putting a bit of grass and, and scenery around, um, yeah, I think it's going to look alright. And then to finish off this update I'll just ballast the track. A little trick when ballasting with a, a road bed already in place. Um, these are very sharp walls. So I learnt this at train club the other night. Just put a fine bead of glue along the edge. Then when that dries, you just vacuum it up and you've got a, a line to work from for the slope. So you can ballast and it'll go down to the to the line of ballast that's already set. 